Derek Chauvin, guilty on all charges. Damn, that verdict came back quick. It's almost like they had their minds made up before the trial was even over. Anyway, you got some people speculating, saying that this outcome might have been a whole lot different had Maxine Waters and Joe Biden inserted themselves into the situation, feeling like they swayed the court of public opinion, which swayed the jury members. Then you had some allegations and reports of jury member doxing, and a lot of people feel like the trial may not have been fair and honest. Me personally, the trial went the way it went. The state presented their evidence, the defense countered Chauvin lost. Me personally, I don't care how much drugs was in his system. You can't get past that tape. Anyway, I digress. <sighs> what I want to say is, take this win. Take that victory lap. But don't get comfortable. There's still work to do. We can't sit around waiting for the next police-involved shooting or incident to happen. We got to be proactive and not reactive. And being proactive means getting involved in local government. Stand on your governors and your mayors, holding them accountable so that they hold their police commissioners accountable, who didn't hold their subordinates accountable, who didn't hold the patrol officers accountable. That also means talking to your children, teaching them the right and wrong way to interact with officers. I know when I was a kid, that's what my father did. I've been pulled over multiple times by the police, asked to step out of my car and everything. Side note, if you ever wondered if you had to get out of the car, if a police officer asked you to, yeah, you do. There's a Supreme Court case called Pennsylvania versus Mims. It basically states that if a police officer asks you to get out of the car for whatever reason, you must get out of the car or else they'll take you out of the car. Now, I don't agree with this law, but it is what it is. Even been pulled over with my guns in the car. And guess what? I'm still living to talk about it, right? Understand, not every man shot by the police or pulled over by the police is Nelson Mandela or Martin Luther King. A lot of these incidents can be prevented, whether the police is in the wrong or not. So like I said, take your victory lap now, but it's still work to do.